Welcome to the Rockwell automation video of how to use Factory Talk Metrics Connector version 10 with Factory Talk Vantage Point Excel reporting. To begin, we'll simply start Excel. Once Excel has been started, we'll use the Factory Talk Vantage Point add in to Excel to insert data from the Metrics Connector. We simply select the Insert button from the ribbon tool and follow the wizard instructions. In this case, what we'll do, we'll simply select a history query and we'll map on to the types within the metrics connector. We'll now browse the tags within the metrics system under system sources, factory talk metrics, and browse to the metrics plant model. From the metrics plant model, we'll simply click onto one of the work cells. In this case, we're selecting the BL line one work cell. Notice the type that's been selected. We'll click Next. Once we've selected Next, we're being asked if we want to create a report against the other line that it's found to or the other work cell. We'll simply select the one work cell and, and continue to the Next. This screen summarizes what's been selected as far as the type of work cell, the instance of the work cell, and the type of tags that are contained within the work cell. We'll go Next. On this screen, we'll select the tags that we want it Excel to report on. So in this case here, we'll select the components of OE, such as availability, quality, OEE, and throughput. We'll move those tags over to the right-hand side of the wizard and click Next. We'll make this a parameter, changing the plural to just work cell and maybe a message to the operator that says select a work cell. Click Next. In this case here, what we'll do is we'll default to the last hour of data. We'll select Next, and we'll tell the Excel to return the data in a wide format. We'll click Next. And in this case here, what we'll do is we'll bring back all the raw data that's available for the query and say Finished. Once the data has been returned to the Excel environment, we can now use the functions of Excel, such as formatting the cells. So in this case here, what we'll do is we'll make those a number, and we'll probably throw a chart on the screen, plotting the data of our components. Once we're happy with the report, we could simply publish it back to the Vantage Point portal by selecting the Vantage Point Add-in and Publish. We're going to select a report with parameters. Note that it's going to accept work cells as a parameter. We'll go Next. We'll put it in the public folder and we'll call this Metrics Work Cell Report. And go Next. We'll browse to the published report once the publishing has been completed. Within the Vantage Point portal, we can now view the Excel report that was published to the system within the Vantage Point portal. Note that as a parameter, it's accepting different work cells. So we can select a different work cell and push that work cell into the templatized report. Thank you for watching the Rockwell Automation video of how to use Excel with Metrics version 10.